Hello again, everybody. We've got another video just like last week where we walked through the Gothic Quarter. This time I'm taking you through the Bourne, which is one of Barcelona's most charming neighborhoods. And what I want to do is get through some of the smaller streets that I always recommend people to go down just so you can see them. Again, trying to bring Barcelona to you. If you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to see more videos about what's going on here in Barcelona. We're starting over here in the Bourne in front of the Bourne Cultural Center. And you can see that it is just behind me there. It's closed today. Today's Monday. Most museums closed on Mondays. But inside what you have are remains of some houses from the 18th century. After the Battle of 1714, a lot of these houses were torn down. A lot of this area was actually destroyed. And what they did was they found parts of the, the houses, parts of the streets below it, and they've turned it into a museum. And I always think it's a really cool thing to go and check out. It's a free museum as well. So if you can ever get in there, make sure that you do. But like I said, what we're going to do is get through some of my favorite parts of the Bourne, take you around and check out some of these beautiful, beautiful streets. So let's get going. You can see it's a beautifully sunny day. Just so you know where we are with the cultural center right back there. Down in that direction, you're going to have more of the beach. You can see the Estación Franza, the train station over there, and then the waters on that side. And then directly on the other side, you have the Passage del Born, which we'll get over to in just a minute. And this plaza is always nice for a bunch of different bars, restaurants. And we'll make our way down to some of these smaller streets. You can see we're doing another walk earlier in the morning, around the same time, it's about 11.30 right now. And so you can see a lot of these places are closed just because it's uh, a little early for lunch still. So we're coming down, getting onto that Passage del Born, which gives the entire area its name. Born is basically tournaments, so to take part in tournaments in the old olden days. They used to have the jousting tournaments on this street. You can see the long little passageway that brings you down to Santa Maria del Mar, the church that we'll check out a little bit later. I've also got a video up you can check out about that if you want to see what it's like to get in. I always recommend that, so definitely check that video out here. Passing Rec, which was an old river that came through Barcelona. And now we're getting on one of these streets called Flasaderos, which is the blanket makers. You can see we've got a very famous bakery right here, which is Hoffman. Maybe you've heard about it. Famous, famous croissants. They've got some with mascarpone cheese on the inside, all sorts of different fillings. If you ever make your way over here, you definitely want to check out, definitely want to check out some of those croissants. And then as we make our way up, you can see what they say is the narrowest street in Barcelona. Right? This is called Las Moscas, which was the flies. And one of my favorite things about it, see if you can see up there, there's a little face up there that's Papa Moscas. Papa Moscas uh, is up there. And if you ever see a face in the Born, it's basically back from the Middle Ages and even into some of the later centuries that there was a brothel in this area. And Papa Moscas, kind of real creepy with that mustache up there, is one of the most famous of them. You can see Papa Moscas in the Moscas Street, which is the flies. And this is always just a really nice street to walk down. You got a bunch of different things. Some other smaller kind of little shops that are around here. And if you've ever read the series of The Shadow of the Wind, the second book, uh, David Martin, he actually lived on this street. That kind of creepy house where he lived with the tower was on this street. So that's another one. It's pretty famous. See all these little back streets around here. just nice to see all these little, get your view right there, these little side streets. 
like I said, that's what makes this part such a nice walk. And I always recommend when people are walking around Barcelona, spend a little time just in these back areas. Like I said before, just really charming. You find all sorts of little shops, little smaller cafes, things like that. We're coming up in one of the plazas here, which is kind of in these smaller streets. It's always nice because you've got more of the, the open area and the sun. Usually we've got a bar just right out here, which is over on this side. You can see La Bodega right back there. Just Flasa is the name of the street as well. But like I said, usually this is a really nice place to sit out and have a coffee, maybe a vermouth, something like that. See the nice open plaza. What we'll do is we'll head down a little bit more through some of these little back alleys, like I said. And we've got the Picasso Museum coming up on Moncada Street. Something you don't see too often right there. Got the Espanol flag. Espanol is the other team in Barcelona, just on the outside of the city. Uh, they just moved down to the second division this year, but they should win it and move back up. Not a huge rivalry, I guess, just in terms of competition, but in terms of being in the same city, it's always a big one. You don't see a lot of those flags. You usually see a lot more of the Barcelona flags. And here, I don't know if you caught it before, but you've got a little bridge just right through here, basically. That gets us out into Mon Moncada Street. I always love that. Brings you right back into that open sun. And what we've got here, if we turn down and go back towards the sea, you can see down through everything on this left side over here is gonna be that Picasso Museum. You know, one of those amazing places to go and check out. One of really the only museum that was built to him while he was still alive. Uh, and the one in Barcelona that he wanted to have here. Beautiful, beautiful building in its own right. And then you've got some other bars, some famous ones like Champagnette down the way you should check out. We're gonna go down some of these older streets over here. A lot of these places open up a little bit later. So you'll notice behind me, you'll see a lot of things that are closed. But just look around and see the balconies. We've got even just up here, coming in behind the plants. It's always nice, you can see the lights up just right back here as well. We'll head on down. And again, a lot of little artisan workshops, little craft places, smaller little shops or artist workshops, little boutiques, Bono Bono. One of my friends absolutely loves that place. Just got a shipment back home to the States. Uh, and just loves those clothes. You can see just right back in there. Some other ones right in here, little smaller shops that you'll see. And a lot of these names of the streets that we walk through, they have the name from the guilds that were back here in the Middle Ages, grouped in to one street, and they would keep those names for a little bit. And this is what I'm talking about. You just walk through all of these little back alleyways or anything and you'll find a really really nice little neighborhood to make your way through and see the church just down the street if we continue on down here i don't know if you guys can hear the construction in the background right there It's 
stopped in, so hopefully, oh. See some more. These little shops right in here. I'll head down. A little artist studio. And then this is one of the best coffee shops right here. It's really only open on the weekend, so very rarely can you get in here. There's one just on the next street over, but Magnifico, as you can see, Mag by Magnifico. This is actually where they do a lot of the brewing on the inside, and when they open it up, it's a nice little cafe. Definitely worth checking out. It's got some really nice brews on the inside. Pointed out this street before, but you can see the little decorations up on top. really just got some of these older buildings around that are just really nice to see. You can see little places like this. Right here. Some jewelry shops. And then we're coming out to Argentaria which is going to be one of the main roads. Kind of takes you from the Gothic quarter and takes you right into the, the church to Santa Maria del Mar. And this is always really nice. Again, you've got these little connectors that go through, um, a lot of times referred to as castizos. And what you have right there, it would really connect the house and also just make it bigger. And they say that Barcelona used to be able to get over from the cathedral over into this area without even touching the ground. You used to be able to connect all of these buildings, a lot of those taken out, but whenever they're left open, it's really nice to see. I don't know if you can see in the back there, you got views to the cathedral and a lot of these little shops as we make it down. Again, Argentaria which if we can see is going to get us right down to Santa Maria del Mar. But we're not going to go right through there. I'm going to cut back through again another one of these little streets and get back down and go through some of the back ways. Those are always the better ways to get around. head back through. We've already come through this way. We'll head down the other way. And what you see, this is Miralleres, so the mirror makers. There's actually some really nice bars down along the way. So camera shop right in here, you can see. And this is always one of my favorite streets to take people down. You can see a bunch of different nice little views. Again, just beautiful little streets. Some bars. It's been closed for a little bit, but La Fonte Las Musas. Really nice people that own that. Got some great uh, menus of the day for lunch. And then you've got a few bodegas that come on down. And check out this view as the church comes in. Right in there, you can see.
We got the bodega right there. Bodega del Born. We got some blue vine. Still a little warm for that. When I go to those northern countries, love to have a glass of that. Warms you right up. Here, not so popular. And you come out, you can see in the back Petra right over there. Really nice again for some lunch menus. And then you've got St. Mary's of the Sea. Famous church. Amazing book written about it. Cathedral of the Sea. Always recommend that. And then the Netflix series that everybody's hearing about. Get out to the front over here. see behind me Argentaria street that we came down a little bit and then here we are getting out to the front of Santa Maria del Mar got a little bit more action out here with the bars back open a little bit more movement in general and you can see that amazing facade this is the best representation we have in the city of that Catalan Gothic architecture. And while we're over here, we'll do got another one of these arches just in the back right here. All over here I showed you the narrowest street, what they say is the narrowest street. Now I'm going to show you the shortest, the shortest street in Barcelona. And you can see it right behind me, right there, and it ends just in about two steps, you've got the Plaza Santa Maria, just right there. And when you come over on this side, you can see, again, we're getting out closer towards the sea again. And they've got these little blocks over here that I always like to take people down. Again, a lot of them named after the different guilds and things that were here in the Middle Ages and all of these different shops. And I just feel like sometimes, you know, we're trying to get to the main attractions and we don't go through these little back alleys. And this just adds a lot of character to the city. Little dog shop right there. Dog in Catalan is ghost. And this will play on words of my ghosts. Right there. And then right back here, we've got some more of those little coverings. Just look at this. Look at these streets. Get through under here. A little bit darker, you guys can still see that. We are. That Pisa Morena is back open. Great spot for some sandwiches, actually. And one that's not, see there's a lot of people there, but it's mostly native, so it's not a lot of, a lot of tourists, generally right in here. I'm crossing the street. We're just outside of La Yocha. And getting over to kind of like the intersection where you can divide the Gothic Quarter, the Bourne, we just came from, in the Barceloneta. Nice little plaza here, Antonio Lopez y Lopez. That name should be changing soon. But you can see out again, now we've made our way closer to the sea. And you can see the port starting back over there a little bit. Again, now we're out open in that sun. You have a little bit more opening just right here. But again, Barceloneta over on that side, the Gothic Quarter, gonna be over there, dividing that with the Via Laetana, and then the board. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the walk through the Bourne. Let me know with a comment below other areas of the city that you want to see. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more about Barcelona as I'm trying to bring it to you while we can't travel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.